it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing my new and approved updated makeup routine. So I am excited, you guys. I haven't done a makeup look on this channel in over three months. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video and let's just hop into things and let's get into this video. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is foundation. I have already prepped, primed, and cleaned my face. So I'm gonna start with my Believe Beauty foundation. You guys can get this at Dollar General for $5. Really inexpensive. And I'm in the shade Lint. And you guys, it comes with a pump, a $5 foundation with a pump. Live. I take that much and just dot it where I normally do. Now I'm going to blend that with my Beauty Blender from Believe Beauty. Now I'm going to be taking my concealer from Believe Beauty and I am in the shade Ivory and I'm just going to put this underneath my eye to brighten things up. I'm going to take my beauty blender and just blend away. I'm going to be taking my Cody Aerosol. You guys know I am a huge fan of this powder. This powder is amazing. And I'm going to take the opposite side of my beauty blender from Believe Beauty. And I'm just going to let that concealer sit and bake. Taking my Tarte Arizona Clay Bronzer in the shade Park Avenue Princess. And I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks using my big fan brush. Okay, so I have not been filling in my brows with an eyebrow pencil in almost three months. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe palette and I'm going to take this shade right here. I already have like a oil in there so it can stay wet so it could be easy for blending. I'm using my Mata um, brow slash groomer and I'm going to do my brushing up my brows and now going to fill in my brow I'm gonna fill in this brow off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm gonna swipe off this bake that I have underneath my eye and on my bridge of my nose, up on my forehead, my chin, and my cupid's bow. Now I'm gonna work on my eyeshadow. And you guys, I have not shown this on my YouTube channel yet. 
I have not shown this to you guys. This is my prize possession. And I have worked really hard to get this. This is my first palette of his. And you guys already know who I'm talking about. And that is the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette. Let's just say I had a moment in Ulta. Whenever I purchased this and I walked out of the store with it, I felt so amazing. And you guys, hold on one minute. I still got the box that it came with. And you guys, it has such a beautiful picture of him. And I just, I love him and you guys, Jeffree Star is such an inspiration to me because he came from nothing to the most well-known beauty guru on the internet, the most well-known um, beauty influencer all over the world. And he came from having $500 in his bank account to having $75 billion dollars and his own CEO and I definitely do look up to him and having this palette just makes me feel so great and I love him and I hope one day I get to meet him so we're gonna do a look with this beautiful thing so I have been really enjoying the shade called Wand Noises, which is this beautiful shade right here. And I'm going to tap off that excess because you guys know we don't want that unnecessary product on our face. Actually, hold on. I'm going to take Lynn and just take it on my finger and just set my eye. That way the shadows do not crease. And now I'm gonna take it into my crease. Guys, look how pretty that shadow is. Like you guys, I do not recommend you guys buying fake knockoff makeup palettes. If you want a makeup palette, and I'm saying this from me who blows their money on makeup, save your money so you can get the real deal plus this really wasn't expensive it's like 35 dollars or 39 dollars at that and usually ulta has really good sales and they have good sales on their morphe products and everything like that you guys can purchase this both on morphe's website and ulta's website or go to ulta or a morphe store i went into the ulta store and you guys, I'm going to get his makeup brushes. So, yeah. I know that a lot of people tend to say that you don't need to waste your money on makeup. And I don't do it no more because I am a person who likes to save a little bit of money. for Like, if I want to spend some money... I'll at least try to save. And if I know I can't, then I'll just stop saving for it. So, yeah. I really love these eyeshadows, you guys. They're really pigmented. And I am definitely going to get the blue lust palette. The blood lust palette. No, the blue lust palette. And it's so pretty. So gorgeous. If you guys have not watched his reveal of his new collection definitely could check it out but again you guys talking about getting fake products i don't recommend going to the black market or going to um like burlington coat factory or jc penny or ross because they have it half off you guys realize that all that stuff is from the black market and the black market creates things. Like they make fake Gucci bags. They make fake 
Michael Kors bags. They make fake makeup. Kylie Jenner is the number one brand to make copies on because her brand is well known, such as Jeffree Star's um, and Morphe. But I would recommend at least saving your money to not have these products on your face and your eyes to make your eyes hurt. Just saving you. So I'm gonna take my Mata SM shader. I use this as like a topper. And I'm gonna be taking Dog Mom, which is this pretty shade right here. And I'm going to dip into it. You guys are going to know why it's so gorgeous in a minute. Bloop. It's like a highlighter shade. Which I love for all. Like the middle of my lid. I don't like going all the way to my brow. All the way to my crease. But I really like this eyeshadow, you guys. It's really pigmented and really pretty and you can create like any day makeup looks with this because it does have like your everyday neutrals your everyday shimmers mattes and then you have green ones you have like you can create a day and a night look with this i'm gonna take some designer label two and just that right there that way we can have more shimmer on our lid because you can't have too much shimmer on your lid in my opinion you can't so pretty you guys i am obsessed with this palette and this is my first palette of his that i have owned and i am bummed that i couldn't get the conspiracy palette but I am not going to order it off the black market. I am not going to get it from somebody else because let's be honest, that's gross using somebody else's makeup because that's the way you can get pink eye and stuff like that. That's why I tend to, I wash my makeup brushes like every week. Like if I'm known I'm gonna be off on Saturday, I don't wanna wear makeup. So I tend to wash my beauty blenders. I wash my makeup brushes anything that has to do remotely with makeup brushes i make sure that they are clean and they're sparkling cleaned before i put them on my face now i'm going to be taking this one and it's supposed to be a lip lip thing but i don't use it as that. i use it to get like down here towards my waterline i'm going to take one wine noises again and i'm going to put it down here To make more of a smoky eye. You guys can see how it looks. I like putting eyeshadow down here. Like the same color right. And it goes like right around here. That way it looks way more presentable. So I'm going to be taking my Clinique High Impact Mascara. And I got this as a Christmas gift from my aunt. You guys, I like this mascara i am definitely gonna go get it more often um i'm actually saving up for i'm actually whenever i get my taxes you guys you're about to you're about to have a huge ass haul i'm about to be on my channel when i get my taxes back because i'm gonna go clothes shopping i am going to go makeup shopping i am about to blow your mind with all the stuff that i'm gonna get I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, you should save your taxes at least. But then I'm like, boy, I don't want to save my taxes. I want to spend it on stuff that I want. And yeah, so I'm going to get some new shoes. I'm going to get some new makeup, a jacket from, um, from Victoria's Secret. 
I'm excited, you guys. I am just super duper excited for my taxes to get back. I already got state, but I'm ready for my federal to get here. Because I want money. And who doesn't want money? You don't want money? You need to go somewhere. Good that eyeshadow that mascara is it makes my eyes like pop open and so many of my co-workers ask me what mascara i'm wearing i'm just like it's the clinic high impact mascara i live for this mascara you guys and it takes me a good minute to like a mascara not just instantly but i love this mascara so now i am going to take this um eyeshadow um glimmer pot gel pout gel to powder eyeshadow in gold flake and I don't use this eye as eyeshadow I use it as a highlighter you know what it's pretty as a highlighter and la boo it's so pretty as a highlighter I don't like it on my eyes as much but I love it as a highlighter I tend to put more highlight on my cheeks area I don't wear blush anymore because blush is just, blush is too 70-ish and 80-ish, so I'm not all about that life anymore. I used to live for a good blush, but now I'm just like, it's so old, it's so old-fashioned, I'm not for that crap anymore. And now it's time for a lippy, and I'm going to be taking my Superstay Matte Ink Lippy in the shade... 60 pilot so that is the finished look I honestly live for this look I mean the eyeshadow is just really perfect and pretty for every day look and also I love my lip color because it makes my lips look better and I feel like um, my new lips look better than bold lips but that's my opinion and I love using the eyeshadow pod as a highlighter but I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys